Hi everybody, Mr. Garrett here. Uh, I wanted to take a minute and show you how to do um, a histogram and statistics when you have data in a frequency table as opposed to just raw data in a list. Um, this is from problem number 30 in your book after chapter 4. So if you look, it has uh, 130 choir members and their heights are listed in a frequency table. And it's not just like 60 listed twice, 61 listed six times, 62 listed nine times. It's listed so that 60 has a frequency of two or count as two. 61 is six, uh, 62 nine times. So instead of all being a single list, there's a frequency table. So what you need to do is you need to enter the data just as is. Make sure that you label your height and your frequency. You can't use count because that's a function. You can't use frequency because that's a function. So I just use freq, F-R-E-Q. Um, to get the uh, histogram, you're going to add a data and statistics page. And when you come down here and you click height, it's going to give you all the heights as one dot. That's just because it's looking at height and assuming that it's just one variable. And there's 160, 161, 162, 163, 164, so on and so forth, all the way up to 76. Now, in order to get the correct number of dots or the correct histogram there, we have to add a Y summary list. On your calculator or on your computer, you want to right-click over where the Y variable is. To right-click on your handheld, press Control, Menu, and you'll see that, lo and behold, it has Y summary list there. I'm going to say Y summary list. I'm going to say freak, and boom, there's our histogram. Now, technically, these are discrete heights, so we would want to move those over a little bit. So I'm going to say plot, ta, plot properties, histogram properties, bin settings, equal bin width. And yes, the bin width is 1, but I'm going to put the alignment at 59.5. That's just going to center the bars over the 60 and the 61 and the 62 and so on and so forth. I'll adjust the window so it looks nice, but <clears throat> that's something that we'll talk about next week. So there's your histogram. Now, um, the second thing would be to describe this histogram. Uh, this is a, the distribution of heights in the choir is unimodal and roughly symmetric, maybe slightly skewed to the right, where the center would be something and the standard deviation would be something else. So we need to find those statistics. So add a calculator page. And then when you go to do statistics, stat calculations, one variable statistics, it's going to ask you how many lists. We still only have one list, so click OK. Your X list is your height, but then the second option says frequency list. Normally it's defaulted to one, meaning that each item in the um, height list occurs one time. But because we have it as a frequency list, we're just going to name it frequency or freak. And when I click OK, you see right here it has 130 data points in there where the mean height is 67.1 inches and the standard deviation height is 3.79 inches. Five number summary is listed down here. Median height 66. Um, IQR is 5. Uh, so it just helps you out in seeing what's going on. And you can see the median and uh, mean are about the same. So that's why I said it's roughly symmetric. So I hope that helps and uh, have a great weekend and we'll discuss any questions you have on Monday.